welcome here is my long-term review for TicWatch 3 Pro GPS version um, I've been using it for about one and a half month a little over that um, I got it directly from Mob. We uh, purchased it and received it in about two weeks uh, to start it was um, it was about $280 um, shipped no taxes um, because it is coming internationally from international, I think it's somewhere from Hong Kong. Uh, but uh, the thing is, like, it's under 300 bucks. Uh, so the that was one of the reasons I selected this watch. And other reason is their claims of uh, uh, battery for 72 hours. Um, this watch actually uh, exceeded my expectations. Uh, so their claim of 72 hours is true. Uh, and I think uh, including with all the other features uh, I'm going to discuss, I think this is the best uh, smartwatch of 2020. So let's start with uh, battery life. Um, Bobby claims uh, 72 hours on a single charge and it, it pretty much uh, holds up to it. Uh, I've been using it continuously. It's been on my wrist pretty much other than for uh, taking a shower or getting cleaned up. But other than that, the watch has been con constantly on my wrist. Uh, all the settings are on, uh, like co uh, constant health monitoring, uh, including oxygen uh, and uh, heart rate. They're, they're on, it automatically does it every hour. And uh, tick sense, uh, tick zen, uh, all of those things are on too, which kind of measures your stress levels. Uh, and uh, uh, and just tells you pretty much when you have uh, high stress and stuff. Uh, if, if you want to see the whole unboxing and the initial setup and uh, impressions, um, click on the link above. You'll see my original video uh, with all those details. Uh, in this video, I'm just briefly going to go through a few of these things. Uh, some of the things I didn't cover in my first video. Uh, but for... For what it is and for the price uh, that I paid for it, and I think this is the best smartwatch of 2020. Uh, to start, um, I bought this directly from Mavi, uh, and it took about two weeks. I got it for about $280 shipped. Uh, so that is actually a great price. That's the first thing. It started with a great price, so which kind of made me feel, feel comfortable to buy something that's not too expensive. Uh, and the second thing is obviously the battery life. Um, I don't want to charge another uh, device every day. So that was another reason for me to uh, get this one. So uh, just to start here, I have about 41% uh, charge left. I charged this two days ago about this time. I took it off of the charger two days ago about this time. Um, so, and I haven't used a lot of GPS. So it did, it does show like it's a little more than uh, uh, 60, a little, little less than 60% uh, used in two days. So, but it has been constantly on my wrist and I'll show the rest of the things that it's been doing. But I haven't used um, a lot of workouts uh, over the past two days because I haven't, I haven't done any, uh, but that's without workout on uh, doing other than just walking that's without workout uh, or using the GPS feature a lot uh, so it did it did give me um, like two days it's two days right now and I'm at six I'm um, at 41 percent and this it, it's very consistent like this pretty much on a regular day uh, it takes about 30 per 30 to 35 percent of uh, charge for each day so that's that's pretty much 72 hours that they claim and that's like the best thing of, uh, of this watch uh, so let's see here as you can see my display is currently set to always on is off uh, and I have tried the watch with always on too and when I have always on it gives me about four or five hours less less than 72 hours right now I have the uh, you'll see that I have the LCD screen the dual screen on and when I have the always on, uh, it's about 66, 65 to 66 hours on an average. Um, and with this LCD, it's definitely 72 hours and it hasn't, it hasn't failed me yet. So, which is like, I believe it is the best battery life of any smartwatch out there. Um, and definitely better than Samsung, Samsung Galaxy Watch 3, the new one and obviously better than Apple Watch. I can't directly compare to Apple Watch because I don't have one. Uh, but again, just based on um, Apple Watch's 18-hour uh, battery life. Uh, so some of the things, again, again, I don't think I can, uh, I can uh, 
tell more about the battery life, but uh, that's something that made me made me very uh, what do you call very satisfied with my purchase because uh, that gives a chance for me not to charge every night. Uh, so let's go into uh, some of the settings. So pretty much all the health settings work properly as they claim. Uh, I'm gonna just show it quickly. That's the that's the heart sensor. Uh, let me see if it actually shows it here, and it, it does show it really fast. It's not, it's uh, comparable to all the other good smartwatches out there. So it's, it took about like seven to eight seconds, but it did come up with the measurement right away, right there. Uh, and then if we go back to, let's see the oxygen. So this one. I have um, I've had few minor issues, I should say. Sometimes it doesn't. It does say like, hey, your watch is not uh, strapped properly, reset it, and sometimes it works. Uh, but for the most part, it is. Uh, I just have to move my move the watch a little bit um, uh, on my wrist, and it does show up. Uh, let's see if it actually shows up here. did work the first time uh, so again I have the settings uh, that that makes this on all the time so it's constantly checking your I'll show it to you in the Mavi app in a second but it's constantly um, checking it so it does take battery for it to do all of those things uh, another one is uh, tick Zen um, I'm, not, I'm just right now it's saying relaxed I'm not gonna be doing it. So this is something tick sleep that I've been using consistently. Again, this is another feature I have it on. Uh, so right now it will tell me basically that's my sleep cycle. Uh, that's my sleep cycle uh, today weekly. Today is only about five hours, but weekly average is a little over seven hours. So it actually keeps constant track of, of, a, of the sleep. And then if you go in here, it will give you all the heart rate while you were sleeping, uh, oxygen rating while you were, blood oxygen uh, while you were sleeping, morning pills, um, it even tells you to sleep enhancement methods. Uh, but obviously, these are just tools, uh, just to keep a track on your health. Uh, they, they don't, uh, I mean, it's going to a doctor is the best thing, but uh, uh, these are the tools to at least to avoid going to a doctor. Uh, so basically, that's, that, that's one reason I've been using them, and they've been very helpful. So those are some of the exercise ones, but obviously if you go to take health um, right now, it will just show me, this is early morning for me, but uh, uh, it actually shows um, how many steps I took till now. Um, and active hours, calories burned, distance. So that's that's the whole cycle that it will actually show. Uh, once you go, once I show into the app, it will actually track each day per month and everything it will it will give you the whole whole list for every day so that's something that it tracks uh, very nicely that it hasn't missed any tracking or i have got constant results uh, from using these uh, next one is let's see i think some of these i already uh, went through in my original videos i'm not going to go through them again right now uh, something you can obviously do is the google pay uh, which i've used a couple of times with nfc i have just my google pay linked uh, I mean, like my cards linked into Google Pay, uh, essential mode. So this is another one, I haven't tried it, like you can actually click on it, and it will, t uh, you can see it's asking me to go to essential mode. So uh, if you keep it on essential mode, the claims is that it, the only the LCD screen will be on for, and it will extend the battery life for 45 days. Uh, which is really amazing, but I mean, obviously, I'm not going to be trying it because once you go into the essential mode, you have to restart it, restart the watch. At least in my experience, I couldn't figure out another way uh, to to get back to normal mode. But again, right now, I'm just I'm just going to be using a, uh, using the regular one. Uh, so as we speak, you can see that battery charge. Obviously, I'm using it. Uh, using the screen more so it actually does uh, reduce. So, but essential mode is another one that uh, that they have uh, uh, claimed to do 45 days. And um, and also another thing is like when the battery charge is under uh, 5%, uh, the watch automatically switches just to just the LCD screen. Yeah, you can't, you can't go into anything else like this screen right now with the watch face. Uh, so until you charge it, it stays on, the, on this screen. 
Um, now obviously the dual uh, the dual screen works really well and you can see it's it's actually um, uh, the backlight on the dual screen so all of those things um, I've been very happy with uh, rest of the things I've been using uh, other ones on this are uh, obviously maps uh, Google Play Store Spotify these are the other ones uh, I have used it and if you click on the maps obviously you get a get a nice uh, oops map in there so you can see that we can not sure if you can see it clearly here but those are all the things uh, that it definitely uh, works as promised um, and again going back to the watch specs so the snapdragon where 4100 platform is fast and gear os has improved uh, a lot i think google worked on it to improve and i believe the the new chip actually helps uh, help it helps the wear os work better uh, it's snappy and it's fast consistent haven't crashed on me no glitches and it's smooth so that's smooth to use so all of these things i believe obviously the the os makes the biggest difference and the chip behind it so both of those things have come along uh, come along together uh, to a great to give a great experience um i have used wear os in the past uh, but uh, it was always clunky and glitchy but right now it has improved a lot so some of the things um that i haven't discussed in my original one um, are uh, setting up this button uh, the bottom function button if you press and hold you get multiple options here obviously essential modes there restart speaker draining if you think like if you if you have too much water going into it while you're swimming or something uh, and you can customize this button to set up to right now i have it set up to take uh, exercise so if you just do one tap you, know, you can set it to multiple any of these apps in here that show up uh, pretty much all the apps that work so it's like a quick button that you can use um, I haven't I haven't changed it. It's to uh, take exercise, uh, so that's one of the settings you can do. Uh, and let me see. And one thing I have had issues with, I would say, is uh, the Mobby app. Uh, if, I, if I try to find any watch faces in the app and try to apply it to the watch, it always gives me an error saying uh, face not found or watch face not found. So I'm not sure if that is something uh, that's on the app, not really on the watch, but again, it would be great to have that option in there too. Uh, let me go in here. So go into the settings, uh, you can do gestures, app notifications. Uh, I think you can go into storage. It will actually show you all the stuff in here. It's, I mean, I'm not storing anything on this one. I'm not trying to play anything off of the watch directly, but it's just uh, the basic apps. Uh, it doesn't take up a lot of uh, a lot of the stuff in, um, a lot of the storage capacity for all the, st uh, all the things in here. Uh, so as a whole, operating system wise, Wear OS and Snapdragon uh, Wear 4100 work together very well. Um, that's my conclusion. And uh, I haven't had any glitches and hopefully that continues uh, the same way. I mean, it's only been one and a half month, uh, but definitely I'm very satisfied within the one and a half month uh, that I've been using this. Uh, let's see. So and a couple of other things, obviously, I've, I've went through over the using the Google Assistant in my original video, but uh, it's consistent. Uh, if I just say, what's the weather today? Today in Irvine, it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 72 and a low of 45. It's currently 45 degrees and mostly sunny. And the, uh, the Google Assistant has been great i mean there is no there is no denying it it works really good um it gives accurate accurate information it can open apps uh, it can uh, reply to text messages uh, another thing i noticed is like uh, if i'm trying to uh, let's say for example i'm going to just go in here the keyboard that comes in here you can actually swipe on the keyboard i'm not sure if uh, uh, if you have realized it you can actually swipe you don't have to 
uh, you don't have to like click on each letter but you can actually swipe like you do it on your uh, phone so that's a, that's another um, go good feature to have obviously you can speak to you can speak using the microphone button but it's uh, it's sometimes easy when you're replying to a text or all those things um, so and going back to the phone connectivity, uh, this hasn't disconnected from my phone. The Bluetooth connections are consistent. It uses Bluetooth over Wi-Fi um, as much as possible, but obviously it's connected to Wi-Fi um, when you are near a Wi-Fi location or when you are near a, um, a trusted Wi-Fi location, I should say. Let's go into the system here. Um, so you can see essential mode day, try power up. Um, there was one, I believe there were two updates since I got the watch. And um, I mean, both of them were security updates and stuff. I haven't seen any new items or new settings come in there. Uh, but for most part, uh, the, everything has been working really good and um, it's, it's consistent. I mean, the only thing I would prefer is like having a bezel like the G Galaxy Gear watch, uh, but then that's but if they can do it, that would be great. If not, it's still, it still it doesn't take away anything from the uh, from the watch itself. Uh, so now let's go back to the fit and finish. So this actually very elegant watch. Uh, it only comes in black, uh, which they had other options. But again, it's just black everything, um, black bezels with uh, um, with the time on it. Um, Stainless steel body on the top, uh, both uh, power and function button, silicone strap with stitching to, Im to basically imitate like it's a leather strap. Um, the back of it is the plastic. So here, as you can see, this is the plastic um, bag and the charging pin. So this is something, um, I prefer the plastic bag because it doesn't feel cold on your wrist uh, when, you're, when you're constantly wearing it. Um, but uh, the one thing I would hope to change uh, in the future is the charging because right now I can't wi wirelessly charge this one. Uh, it's just a three pin connection so I do have to carry it if I'm going out anywhere, uh, which I did um, once um, during this uh, whole year, but I did I did have to carry the charger. Uh, if it was wireless, I can just pop it onto any of the wireless chargers around. Uh, so that's something, um, wish it had it, but at this point it doesn't, hopefully for the uh, for the next iteration, it might have it. So, but other than that, uh, the whole thing is, um, I mean, at least, it's, like I said, it's elegant. Uh, it works with any of your attires. Uh, you can easily swap out the straps. So you basically push, you can have the little tab here, and you just push it, and there comes the strap. So it's as simple as that. Uh, when you're putting in the new straps, if uh, obviously they won't have the same feature as uh, this one. Let me just try to put it back in here. Okay, it's back there. So, so obviously, other straps won't have the same feature of this easy snap off, but uh, we can actually say, uh, pack it to any of the um, any of the straps you want to buy and replace it. I'm not sure if you can get any bezel skins, uh, but that's if it becomes more popular actually you can uh, but again this uh, this has been a very great watch for me uh, it's been consistent um, it does what it's supposed to do and i don't have to charge it every day so but all of this together um i, I think it is what, the best was smartwatch of 2020 it does everything other smartwatches does it lasts longer um, and um, it's it's as good as the other ones, and in some some portions it's better. Like uh, the battery uh, OS has improved a lot. Uh, like I keep saying, the battery, but the OS has improved a lot, uh, and the whole um, the whole thing works together. So Mobi has a big hit on their hand. Hopefully, hopefully it takes uh, uh, people realize this and don't go by just because it's for the name but this is a great watch to have and i believe it is the best smart watch of 2020 for the price you can get it for here's the mobby app uh, basically it shows it's connected to my watch um, battery and if i click on this um, this is for today and it shows i mean obviously i haven't done much today but it does you can see it calculates everything and it's stored in here heart rate blood oxygen stress sleep uh, noise i don't think there is much going on exercise nothing for today but if you go back um oops, sorry 
if you go back to into the calendar you can see I've been using it constantly every day other than I think I haven't I haven't done much on 11th or it didn't get to track anything on 11th I'm not sure so but I do have it for about six weeks right now uh, so it does track everything like if you look at yesterday there is there is my stuff from yesterday all the things So this is where I had some issues. So watch face, uh, I, will, I will show up um, a list of that. So if I do this and say apply to watch. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button that helps uh, that helps us uh, small, small content creators improve faster and provide more uh, good content in the future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.